Hey guys, it's your girl Shantae Shantae and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up with it? Be sure to hit that subscription button and the notification bell to follow so that way you are updated when I post new videos weekly. Now in today's video, as you know I'm always excited when it comes to this, but Mented, like when I tell you Mented shows me so much love, so much love. When I become a billionaire, I'm gonna ride for them. I'm gonna ride for them. And everybody else that don't be talking to me and don't be showing me no love, you're gonna, you're gonna regret it. Because I'm gonna make sure all the black owned brands at the tickety top. Mented, they does the damn thing, okay? I get influencer boxes on a regular. When I tell you they, are, they cranked out product in 2019, they're not coming to play. I'm talking about foot on necks, okay? So in this video, I have for you the Mented Skin no, yep, skin silk. And I'm sure you guys know what this is because it's already been released, but their packaging is always bomb. And it says skin silk loose setting powder and brush. They always give good brushes. Like the brush for the foundation was bomb.com. Now I have a setting powder. So we're gonna go through and look at all three of these. So we have the first one, which is light to tan. Now this right here is a little bit lighter than I would like. I like it to be a little bit more on the yellow side, but I do not mind. Like we'll see how it plays with what I'm about to do today. So this is the first one and they're sleek meant. Like I love how the simplicity of the packaging. And then you've got your undercarriage and then it says mented loose setting powder, light tan. And this is medium deep. You can have this deep, like this is deep y'all. I'm talking about deep, beautiful, <laughs> for my chocolate babies. So it is awesome sauce. And then here is the brush. And it reminds me of the Mac. Like when I was younger, this used to be everybody's favorite thing. Like every YouTuber had the Mac stippling brush. And when I actually got old enough to try a Mac stippling brush, I was like, that hurts i don't like it but definitely denser than the stippling brush because usually the stippling brush is like a little ball head at the top and then you can you just see the white hairs and then it's a little bit denser where the black hairs are but for this one it is completely dense which is awesome and you know they just keep providing it's really soft this is going to be great for brushing under the eye the shape is very nice for like getting right in under the eye it's not too big where you feel like you're going to be hitting your eye it's nice to get right in and under that so we're going to see what's up with it okay so today i'm going to go in with this new foundation that i got from fenty beauty and i'll pray that it's still my color because i don't remember if i got this before or after la and you know things be bugging so I'm gonna first go in with my Tachka silk canvas boom boom and let me hear you say ew and I already moisturized so we're good on that another thing that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this milk hydro grip primer and it little i think that's why i like it because of that grip i tell you they got that grip like well, as soon as you put it on you feel like oh it just hugs your face so nicely and i feel like that helps the product to do what it's both now you'll notice that the in the beginning the um canvas and that the two don't really play too nice together but once you put your foundation on it's all good like you can see it moving around but just put your foundation on and you'll be straight and now i'm gonna go in with this wonder beauty i'm just putting on some of this face illuminating face oil And somebody had DM'd me on Instagram before about where my contacts are for them. They are Iris Beauty, a brand that I work with. And they have 
the most comfortable contacts I've ever bought. I've bought contacts from like the beauty supply store, but it's not the same. I'm gonna go in using my beauty blender and just start putting the foundation on. I think I actually want to do one side with just mented and then one side with my tried and true Sashka, so you guys can get an idea of what it's looking like. It must get me tripping. One day it wants to be Butter Pecan, Puerto Rican. The next day it wants to be Kylie's. So I'm gonna contour using my first NARS Creamy Concealer. It's kind of like red pinky on me and i feel like that helps cancel out the dark spots under my eye so i'm gonna use this side of it and just keep moving and growing then you know i'm going with my juvius boobius and and i don't put it right under my eye i like to leave a little space and then use the sponge to like massage that in all right what's some swaths now i feel like the color is doing what it's supposed to and we're a little bit matchy matchy now what i'm gonna do is i have my sashka and i'm a minted it's a showdown so we're gonna see how these bad girls perform now i'm gonna use my blue sponge to pick up my sashka and then i'm gonna use my yellow i mean my pink one to pick up the mented so going with the first application of this and just pat her in we're gonna go here because you know we like to be snatched it's so funny like i remember being in college, sitting on a toilet, ordering some real technique brushes, and thinking like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I've come so far, that's just like a testament to like, if you actually put time into something, you will grow, mommy. You will grow. So, same thing with, um, let's see how this one performs, but the same issue that I have with Sashka, like, if you guys could create a lid that snaps this close so that way that powder does not come out because when I open it and it's like confetti it's not a surprise that I want to get you know so I think that a cover for setting powders like that seals those holes so the powder doesn't come out all on top is extremely beneficial because then I can just take this and then pour it in my little container and then use this for my first application I'm actually going to use their brush for this one because it seems like this actually likes to be swept across and I the, the sponge to cause like it, it's causing, causing some like fallout here so I'm going to sweep it across with their actual product. Now I'm going to bake the face. So this powder is a little bit light for my liking. It reminds me of the Laura Mercier translucent in color, which is like a little banana tint to it. Here you have it, Mented Cosmetics and Sashka. If you want that yellow, you wanna go with Sashka. And this is giving me that muted color fermented i just want to keep setting this side so that way they're evenly set okay so we're going to sit in this easy bake oven for a good five minutes i'm going to use my mented this is m10 and start getting myself ready to be snatched mommy i really like this for contouring so far not too bad 
this they both are very lightweight i'm interested to see how this ends up turning out i'm going to take this brush and i'm going to dust her off but yes ma'am doing that and then i'm going to get my it cosmetics brush this is the flat top buff foundation i'm going to use her to buff in this side the yellow gives me a little bit more pigmentation let's see if this brush works better to buff it in it gives me a little bit more brightness so if this powder the powder is really nice but if it gives me if it was a little bit yellower I think that would be bomb for me. But let's see how she finishes or whatever. But here you have it. Mented on this side. Sashka on this side. I'm going to spray her. Ooh, la 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 not sure if you can see much of a difference I can a little bit here I see a little bit more of that white cast here but this one's a little bit more yellow and brightening so that's the only thing I would say like that I would change about this I wish it was a little bit more yellow to kind of mirror that banana color but maybe this is supposed to go in for it because it seems that it's light tan there may need to be one in between that is a little bit more yellow so this may be good for like somebody who's a little bit lighter than me but for me i would really enjoy that more yellow tone but they both it looks nice the finish is bomb like i look good so it's not like something i won't use and because like i'm becoming like in love with all the mended products i probably would use this to the naked eye they both look really good but i think that's where the difference is for me. The yellow kind of really speaks to my undertone here. For this white one, I would definitely need a shade in between the these two. Like, that yellow would be perfect there, and it would really speak to medium skin tones. This is really for light skin tone. Brown, medium to, I think it's, what is it? Where'd you go? Oh, medium to deep. This medium to deep shade definitely helped brighten up and give me more color back into my face and then I'll use this brush because I love it. So now I'm going to go in and finish up the rest of my face and give you guys the full on look. Okay ladies and gents, this is the finished look. I think it looks bomb.com. This side definitely doesn't look bad now that it's all said and done. Again, I will take another flash so that way we can see what we are looking like. And I think the purpose of a flash for me is like, whenever you go out, I just wanna make sure that it's giving me the best color payout when I'm taking photos. And it doesn't look bad. So I think that you can get away with bronzing it up and doing things i just really think that i wish that this came a little bit more yellow for those medium skin tones be really beneficial because you can do like i can see that this side is more it looks more supple and yellow and then this side's got that like the white cast but either way it doesn't look bad it's just like what you're going for and what you're going you look the look that you're going for because on camera they look pretty even but i can see like a little bit more of that undertone coming through with that yellow side and then this side is just a little bit different so they both look bomb i think that if they expand this shade for medium skin tones it'll be bomb but if not all those that are deep and even medium deep to deep and then deep to dark deep would be phenomenal and then for your lighter skin tones or if you prefer to not have a yellow setting powder and you prefer something more of this color this will be bomb for you the consistency is bomb the packaging is bomb because even still, there's just little flakes within here. Whereas my Sashka, you already know, it's a hot mess. So I think that is bomb. I love being able to just do my full face with mostly black-owned products. Right now, it's black-owned and black collaborations. So I think that is bomb.com. Simple, like, easy day look. And Fenty Brows, as you already know, looking more natural. So I think this was a bomb packaging. I think this was a bomb release for setting powders. And I think that 
the only gripe that I have is that I wish that there was a more yellow tone and I know they're gonna probably end up making that because I know they're probably working to expand and that'll be great and then all my products will be minted oh and for all the deeper tones definitely something bomb to check out and try out and that medium to deep i think because i am a medium skin tone it works perfectly as like that mineral veil that that micro sum of i mean that i need a replacement for because they're no longer naked so i think that would be bomb to use for it it's so light and i think it has like really great coverage so i highly recommend you guys check these out and all of minted products and this brush i do think that you should buy because it is just so Soft. So I think that that really concludes what I have to say for this video. Thank you again to Minted for sending me this box, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Look, hey yo, I open my eyes, the sunrise, right atop my cranium, stress weight the body like uranium. Uh, what's the verbatim? Everyday life deja vu, only fear is I start to get comfortable, not want to be typical. Climb my way to the pinnacle, uh, while I'm alive in my physical, yo, and money soon be the ritual.